My love is everlasting Ever, ever Everlasting to everlasting Ever, oh, ever. Girl, you make me upgrade my tactics oh. Hello Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blocks and at the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all so that we're opinion banker and new exclusive video will definitely be notified. Let's just get straight to it with hesitation. So FA the silent roller on uh, the beast. Um from Nigeria defeated Guido Vianello via a split decision. I'll tell you right now, this would have been an upset had it been a Jabba didn't have a switch of mindset in this fight. So first round all looked good for Vianello. Vianello's movement was a little bit of problem for Ajabwa. I understand both of these guys have sparred each other before and um, they know each other very well but that was a couple of years ago. However, Guido Vianello's mindset and mentality was a different one. He wanted to beat Ajabwa. It's like he, he, he's like, he's like, he came into this fight with a determination i don't know if he's if he's if he has if he has a huge debt to pay but it's like someone that has to pay back the italian mafia like you have to pay pay back the money and he came in here ready to die against a jaguar we almost got a scare when this happened right here in the fight run two Close to the end, a few seconds to the end of round two, Ajabwa was already prejudiced with Vianello, landed that right, and then he caught Ajabwa. In catching Ajabwa, Ajabwa was hurt. Ajabwa wobbled. It was, I was like, it was a very scary moment, moment seeing Ajabwa. Like, you know, Ajabwa has been hurt before, but not that early and especially coming to the fire you think Ajabba has his fire locked in and then Kudivanello came and then rushed Ajabba up combinations he even wrestled Ajabba like try to put, put through Ajabba out of the ring and then the bell you know um made just the bell like run and then yeah both went to their corners and uh, this moment right here like would have been very would have been devastating for a job but had it been a lot this fight so after this Olivianello came out again trying to do the same thing but a job corner I'd already told him listen you want to fight right now Use your jab. Now, Ajabba had a switch of mindset and stayed in the fight. In staying in the fight, Ajabba started using the jab because I was surprised that Ajabba wasn't using the jab the first time. You know, he was just landing. You know, Ajabba's like a, a pretty predator mindset. He wants to take you out. That's what he wants. But I think sometimes when you look for a knockout, it doesn't really come. But then Ajabba started using his jab and then started throwing some devilly, devilish uppercut, uppercuts, upon uppercuts. Ajabba surprised me. Ajabba's uh, skill set has improved. Ajabba used to be a one two guy like Yonte Water. But now he combines punches. He doesn't rely on just a punch. He goes to the body, he throws uppercuts from different angles he even switched to southpaw in the later rounds I think he switched to southpaw in round 8 and it was very effective for the first two rounds but the last round I think 
he got tired he should have switched back to autodos his normal stance and the good of yellow had that round though so i think be Jagba did not win the middle rounds i think good of would have would have upset him what i learned today is that listen good of yellow is a tough guy of course he's been stopped before um by jonathan rice you know yeah same guy um that job beat but he needed to prove something so he's been on a winning streak since um last year so and it looks like his career always like something some something is on the line for him he needed to like really really get his like get us like get that get that get that get that that win so ajaba met an hungry man so luckily ajaba's mental game was strong he landed the more um the more effective punches you know even if you look, if when you look at the stats as well you can the stats at the end even like shows how many was landed because we have to look you know you see right here so um good of yellow through more punches than ajabba ajabba landed 186 punches good of yellow landed 177 Jabba with 30% jabs, 110 thrown, and 3 landed. Power punches, 34%. Guru can load through 37% power punches, bro. It's crazy. Like, it's funny. It's really crazy. He threw over 323. You know, I landed 118. Wow, amazing man. I have to say Guido Vianello came in ready. He came into DIE. But it wasn't his night. In another night, he would have he would have beaten a Jabba. But a Jabba's mental game and the fact that a Jabba polished his uh, his boxing. A Jabba's defense team needs a lot of work because sometimes when he throws punches, after he throws punches he doesn't move move like he throws it and stand right there i think is 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 improve i'm seeing improvement you know keiko Roma is doing a good job but i would like to see ajaba throw punch a punch throw combination for example and move you can also throw while moving as well but today i saw some pretty good good uh traits in ajaba's skill set um the south south pole stands really surprised me though that really surprised me i wasn't expecting to see that at all i wasn't expecting to see that at all surprised me to the point where damn man, i'm like damn i just was doing that while like yeah like when i job was with pbc or with ronnie chills he I, he never would have been able to do this it's just funny how he like switch stands and not only that, he was landed. He was cashing. He, he took Guido Vianello's out of his rhythm. And I think the sparring, they both, spot, like they both had like many years ago, really played a part in this because it made Guido Vianello um, very confident in winning this fight. Yeah. And uh, one thing I have to say is that Ajabwa needs to be active. He needs to stay active. Because I can tell um, inactivity um, will hurt Ajabwa in the long run. He needs to be active. Okay. Um, the last time he fought was last um, year, November. He should have fought already in January, uh, in February, for example. 
should have fought already in February. Because you fight, you can see Joshua, for example, fight to stay. Um, Joshua, for example, fight is more. Joshua is more effective when he is active than when he fights twice a year. You know, um, a Joshua that fights twice a year is not effective. It's just fact. Like, so I think I was one of those guys that needs to stay active. Um, he's, he's the state of the WBC uh, World Champion. Um, yeah, I'm proud of him. He did a very good job. I'm proud of him. I saw so many good threats. I saw so many like um, improvement, and I also saw some things he needs to work on. I think the only thing that he needs to work on is I also saw I just move this. <laughs> Listen. I saw a job with the, 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 the dodging, dodging punches, like sleeping punches. I was surprised to see that. I never seen a job with sleep punches like that, bro. I think he's learning. The more he is with Kekoroma, the more he will learn. Of course, he, he's never going to be that super fluid guy because, you know, he's a big man. Come on. Um, And he started, he started boxing late. But... Once he can polish that defense, man, Ajaba will be unbeatable. In fact, Ajaba can win fight just with his jab on alone. It's funny, but he can. 85 inch reach is not a, it's not a joke. And his inside game has also improved. He goes to the body you know, now way more. His upper court is just amazing bro you don't see it coming you don't know where it's coming from those long hands man Jabba man he did a great job congrats to Jabba instead of champ and big ups to Vianello um yeah I I, I did pick a Jabba to win but I did not think um the fight would be this exciting and amazing amazing fight it was a war, bro. I'm gonna definitely watch it back. Definitely. Stay tuned, my super guy, guys. God bless you, for sweet channel. Cheers.